What is up everyone, this is Mike from My Gadgets World and I'm back with another video and it's about the LG OLED CX series 2020 model. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, support this boy and you know, God bless you all. Hey, so you see that the TV was dropped right here at the doorstep because Best Buy wouldn't come in and my in-home service installation was cancelled because of the COVID-19. So for the health and safety reasons for the employees and for the families, they are not doing that service. So I have to take this upstairs. Make sure you have somebody to help you because it's really heavy. Right there you see my media room. It's not finished yet. We just moved into this new house. So it's going to take a lot of time to build this. And that's OLED E6 behind 65 inch. And this 55 inch, there's a reason why I got it. There are multiple reasons. First of all, you can see right here on the screen, NVIDIA G-Sync. It also does free sync, which is for AMD, and also it supports the Xbox. So we'll get into that and we'll unbox this thing. I just couldn't find any fancy knife, so this is just the regular vegetable knife that I could find in the kitchen. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and unbox it. I'm really not feeling good when I was unboxing it because I was scared because so thin TV and so delicate and uh, I'm like what if I just crack this you know and uh, it, it's, it's really hard because I barely move my E6 I mean I still keep my box and packaging because without that that glass panel display it's not that easy to move around so this one you just lift the box up because you might be doing it yourself because Best Buy might not come in your house and they will also just drop it there at your door. So carefully just lift this box up and um, you will see all the supporting packaging up there. So this TV comes with a couple of goodies inside. You will find an um, installation guide there. This is for the assembly of the TV and it includes installation for all the TV models for 2020, 2020 series and CX, GX. I don't know if they continued with the wallpaper series and the picture on glass that was E series. Yeah. This is the back cover, which goes above the um, stand at the back for to cover all the screws and everything. Then you will find this package. This one is with the warranty information, some safety guidelines, um, audio video cable, which I don't know who uses it. If you have some old equipment, maybe it's worth it to have these cables handy, but I don't have anything. So I'm going to put it on the side. It has remote control in there as well. This is a beast box that goes at the back. So this one is actually the supporting stand for the back. And then there's a metal stand for the front. This one actually runs the wire through it so that you can do good cable management and uh, it comes with four screws that you have to screw it at the back of the TV and uh, you see in the middle this is where all the wires run through okay this right here is the metal frame that goes at the front of the TV it has a nice signature on it actually I'm doing it right now there's um, voiceover so unfortunately my audio was not as great so I just had to record it and do the voice over it. So you might find some pauses and delays and maybe just video but no audio. Really apologize for that. But this is really heavy and sturdy stand. It goes to the front. It has the LG OLED logo on it and you can barely see that because it's just um, gray font. And this package I was talking about earlier, it, the one had uh, the user manual for the TV, it has the remote control and the audio video cable. I think I should add some music in the background so that will help because I don't want this silent and pause because literally I'm watching it and I don't like it so I'm just wondering like how would you guys like it. So just go in the comments and make sure you talk something about it. Um, the remote control, thank god it comes with the batteries. This is for the wire management, it goes at the back. The remote control is pretty similar to what we had before for B6, C6, and then, um, you know, the 9, 7 series, 8 series, 9 series, and finally we have 10 series, which they call it CX series. They all have similar remote control. Only the luxury models, I would say, 
the E series or the wallpaper series before came with a really fancy remote control but all other TV models they just come with a regular LG universal remote control and there's the warranty guide information and everything and some instructions and this is new that they started putting the sticker inside I don't think so I'm gonna be putting it anywhere you know it's just not a good idea I guess so there are a couple of screws that you have to make sure that you put it on the back of the TV and four screws goes at the back of the TV and uh, three screws that goes on this metal stand then I'm gonna show you how to assemble this TV as I told you guys earlier that this part goes at the back of the TV and this one goes at the front of the TV first we have to assemble the bottom part and this is what goes at the bottom the front and the back of the stand it comes with a total of seven screws four goes behind the TV and three goes to assemble this back in front of the stand this metal and the plastic part so you have to flip it over and you can see that there are three screws right where the metal stand is one here and one in the middle and one on the left side So once this is assembled, now is the scariest part that I've ever experienced because I had to literally lay down my TV flat on a surface so that I can hook this up at the back of the TV. So man, you're gonna see me shaking by the way. Well now is the scariest part because now I have to assemble the TV and it is not really fun stuff because you have to literally lay down your TV flat on the screen facing the surface and uh, that's the only way you can attach that uh, stand to the TV. So I'm gonna lay it down like this. Um, I was really scared that oh, at that point I felt like okay this is done now but thank god nothing happened. So I had to take out all of this packaging and the front and the back. You see at the bottom there's the packaging and then there's at the front. This should go under the TV so that it gives enough support to the screen of the TV and also it can lift it up because if you don't lift it up you won't be able to attach the stand to it. At the back of the TV you will find one RJ45 connector for your LAN connectivity. There are four HDMI ports, three on the side, uh, one on the back and uh, one USB port on the side and two USB ports on the back. They all are HDMI 3.0, sorry, USB 3.0 and the HDMI is HDMI 2.1. So you will be able to get the uh, eARC with that. And also 4K at 120 Hertz. Okay, these are the four screws that I talked about in uh, 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 the earlier stage that go to the back of the TV. I'm going to fast forward this one real quick. You have to just snap it and you will feel that sound, you know, as soon as you snap that to the back of the TV. And then you can just mount it using those uh, four screws. And that should be done assembling the TV. And that cover that I showed you in the beginning, that that cover actually covers all these uh, ugly screws that's going to be showing up. So you can use that cover there. Once mounted, your TV is ready to be placed on a TV console, so um, I'm going to show you like how it looks like now. So finally, with the help of my wife, I was able to put this TV on a computer table for now because as I said that this room is not finished yet, so it's going to take some time to decide what I'm going to do with this. But this is my main display, it's LG OLED E6 65 inch, it is 3D cap capable the last model that LG made, so this is my main movie theater i would call like home theater display and this new one is going to serve as a secondary monitor for my gaming needs so i can do pc gaming on it using the g-sync and free sync on my xbox